All right, well, welcome guys to another banger video I have for you today. It's your man, The Authority, back once again. This time I'm going for the Devil's Rune, uh, Ruin, my mistake, uh, Sidearm. Um, this has actually been kind of an interesting, this is going to be an interesting one, considering the fact that Destiny hasn't really done that many, um, you know, uh, exotic sidearms. I think the only one that we have is Rat King. Uh, comment down below if I'm incorrect. But today's also kind of special for me, guys, considering that today is my birthday. I turned 23 today, so uh, if you guys are watching me either on Twitch right now or you guys are going to be watching the highlight video of this on YouTube, um, I first want to say thank you guys so much for the support the last couple of days uh, with the channel. I'm so close to being my fir uh, hitting my first 100 subscribers on YouTube. Uh, which will allow me to get my URL, like I might have mentioned in one of my earlier videos. So if you guys aren't already, please subscribe to the channel. It helps me so much. And also, guys, um, make sure you've been tuning into the live stream so that way, um, you know, your boy's being close to affiliated, and that's just going to help me support the channel more and allow me to be able to create better uh, content for you guys. Um, also, if you guys noticed, um, with this video and uh, this stream, wherever you might see it, um, the overlay that I kind of chose a little bit different than the last one from my last two Call of Duty videos. Um, I decided to use a different one, um, but let me know which one you guys like more, if you guys like this one or if you guys like the um, previous overlay. But without further ado guys, let's just get right into the video because I'm excited. Alright, so it looks like I'm going back through and looking at this guys. It says a time loss fragment um, it says enter the sundial, defeat champions in order to pull this frame up to the present timeline. Okay, so it looks like I need to do that in order to get it. So it looks like I just need to enter this. So it looks like it says it. So it looks like I just need to enter the sundial to. Do, and defeat champions. It doesn't say how many, and I guess I don't really know the. Um, I guess we'll just see what happens. I mean, I mean, it says defeat champions, but it doesn't say how many, and it doesn't say like what the. The um. You know the overall rate of success is. So I guess we'll see what uh what happens. Uh, I appreciate the message, man. Thanks for. Uh, you know, tell me I'm gonna be hitting big this year. I can only hope. I feel like this year is the year for me, you know? The last couple months have just been, you know, I have, there's just been some things going on, which, you know, seen this you guys are close to me, you know, friends of my family, you guys know some of the things that we've kind of had to deal with this last couple of, uh, Oh, champion. Is he so different from the Legion? Well, I got the champion, but it didn't, uh, didn't drop it. Thank you. Guardian. Oh, cool. Alright, awesome. So, yeah, we already got the quest. That's awesome. So you just have to complete it. Okay. That's cool. Venture in... Venture to Twilight Gap in the EDZ and reclaim the lost weapon fragment Saint-14 described. Okay. Seems easy enough. Although, is it going to be one of those missions where it's going to take a while? We'll see. Because something like this is like, a lot of times they don't tell you how difficult it's going to be. So, EDZ... Oh, here we go. Parts, law and law. Wait, hold on. Twilight Gap. Why do I feel like that's something different? Twilight Gap. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but isn't Twilight Gap from Destiny 1, not Destiny 2? Oh, yeah, so this is... Oh, yeah, so Twilight Gap was... Okay, that's where I remember. So Twilight Gap was one of the maps that Destiny 2 first installed with. I haven't been on this map in Welcome forever. Welcome to Twilight Gap, the place where humanity nearly died. Guardian, there are no crucible matches scheduled for the Gap today. Osiris, how did you know we were here? 
I saw the Guardian arrive. You're spying on him? I watch all Guardians of Stature. Hmm, so reframing the gap. Find the lost fragments. And there's no, like, beacons or anything, too, so that's going to make things a little tricky. Search the down... Search down... Red Jacks to find exotic time. Red Jack. Downed Red Jacks. What does that mean? Oh, here's something. Uh. Oh, okay, so I gotta find these guys throughout the map. Okay. That shouldn't be too difficult. Luckily, Twilight Gap isn't one of the biggest maps that Destiny has. I already found a second one. Okay, good. I don't have to be near him. I just have to make sure to interact with him. Hmm. This could be actually a slight tricky. Some of these red jacks could be in... I wouldn't think they would put them in any too, like, hard-to-find locations. But at the same time... The against the fallen that took place here. It made Titans famous. Not in a good way. You say that like the warlocks and hunters sat on their hands. Get off this line, Osiris. I'm showing the Guardian something very important. Make me. <laughs> you would not survive that, but you make me laugh. You can stay. <laughs> oh, the Osiris banter is hilarious. The banter between these guys is funny. Oh, got one over here. Alright, halfway done. I always feel like this elevator, sh this shaft could always hide one. Uh, nothing through here. It's funny considering I ran through this in like an entire map already. I th or at least one side of it. Is oh. Alright, got six. I mean... I will say I'm a little disappointed. The fabled oh. horns of legend were constructed from the armor of guardians who died here. Final deaths, all of them. What happened here wasn't your fault. Or mine. We would have lost if not for Shaxx's last stand. With Nkechi and Abdi, and Truth, Li Fang, Anna, they all believed in him. He's more stubborn than you. I have never known him to give up. Ever. <sighs> He's taught me a lot. Wow. I gotta say, I think... Don't get me wrong, this whole, like, search for the Red Jacks and everything is kinda... ridiculous, considering it's like... I was hoping for, like, an action-packed mission, but... I don't know, I think I like the dialogue. It's something kind of cool. You kind of learn a few things. feel like these last two are really going to be hard ones to find. Might be on like some kind of little spot in the middle of nowhere. Oh. <laughs> I just feel like these two Red Jacks are going to be like in like parkour hiding spots or something. Oh, or in a container. <laughs> that was funny. Guardian, whether you wanted it or not, you've become the best of us. We're close to it. Without you, there would be no Saint 14. The Battle of Twilight Gap might have been lost. Saint, your ego knows no bounds. And you have a fat head, Warlock. <laughs> oh, I love the banter of these guys. I almost want to comb back through my footage real quick, see if I might have caught a glimpse of it. Oh, there he is. That's a cheeky spot. That's a cheek. Like, seriously, I walked by this area two or three times, and it's blended in so well with the rock. Okay, I gotta give Bungie good on that one. If they meant it to be that difficult to find, but whatever. What's all this? Guardian. There are no sanctioned matches at Twilight Gap right now. That's exactly what I was saying. Osiris! <laughs> Warlord 
your shags as I live and breathe. Saint 14? I thought you were dead. Brother, I have always hated you. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be at this for a while, Guardian. Feel free to move about the universe. I'm sure you have better things to do than listen to this. Yeah, true. Shags, the crucible. What have you done with it? Here we go. Huh. So obviously if it's a crit spot on... Hmm. Pretty decent damage. Let's see how this charge shot goes. Oh. Uh... It says it fills from the reserve, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Hold on, let me try again. Huh. Oh wait, hold on, let me try something. Oh, okay, so that's what the perk does. Okay, so it's not that if I fire on it, but like, say if I stop at five, it refills the whole thing from the res the laser from the entire reserve again for the full shot. That's what it meant. Okay, that's actually not that bad. I mean, it does make this gun a little bit hard to cooperate with considering, but that's actually pretty cool. So, what do I think about the new gun, guys? Um, I think it's good. I mean, the gun itself is nice. Um, you know, it was a very, it's a very cool sidearm. You know, the fact that we have a new exotic sidearm is always a nice plus. Very cool. I like the way the particular perks, the look of it's obviously pretty cool. Damage is nice, especially for a sidearm. And the fact that it has the unstoppable, um, round thing kind of helps. So that way you don't have to sacrifice some other weapon that you want to use, like, for your long range or something like that. Um... So the weapon, I'm, I'm not, I don't usually test weapons out in the Crucible, even though I could. Um, simply because I just, I just don't like the Crucible that much. I don't. So for PvP purposes at least, or PvE, my bad, player versus uh, enemy, I'm going to give this gun at least a solid 8.5, maybe 9. I mean, I can obviously see how you can do some perks, but just the gun by itself, I give a good solid 8.5 out of 9 because or 8.5 out of 10, maybe a 9 out of 10, just because of the fact that, like, it looks cool, the way it operates is very nice, the perks are unique, and the damage output's pretty nice. As for the mission itself, um, I gotta give it, I, I unfortunately have to give the mission standards of it a big fat, like, 2, 2 out of 10. The mission for the Devil's Run is, wasn't that fun at all, really. I mean, don't get me wrong, okay, fine, we go in the sundial, we do a quick run, and you defeat some champions, cool. I mean, maybe it's a random drop or something like that, or depending on how many champions you have to kill, but, you know, uh, I'm just a bit disappointed, because, and sure, we get to go to Twilight Gap, which I guess a lot of us haven't really played since I think they took that map out of the circulation, I guess. I don't know 100% because I haven't played Twilight Gap in Destiny 2 since back in year 1 Destiny 2. Two years ago, but... And it was cool to see the map again. I liked the commentary that they did, you know, the voice lines. It brought some new stories and things and everything. I thought that was kind of funny. Um, but in total, it wasn't that very of an effective mission because it's like... Okay, yeah, it's a Crucible map, so it makes sense there wouldn't be any enemies, but you could have done something. Maybe had another mission throughout the corridors of time or something like that. I don't know. Maybe that's what they're saving for um, the fusion rifle. Who knows? Um, I mean, maybe, maybe the mission would have been a little bit more extreme if they made it to where you could only get access to it if you did the new Legend difficulty. You know, you have to find players to matchmake. That, I think, 
would be worth it. But it's like, I got it just from doing a simple sundial. You know, I think, you know, if you did it through the sundial, you know, if, if it is a random thing, then fine. If it's random and I just got lucky, then hey, I got lucky. But if it's not and you just have to do the sundial one time and boom, you automatically get the mission, then what's the point of having the new legend difficulty? If anything, you know, I hope the legend difficulty not only rewards you with higher... I mean, I know the legend difficulty rewards with higher gear and things like that, but why include it if it's nothing that important? Unless it is important, I just don't know. I mean, I don't want to make assumptions, but... Yeah, so, again, gun is great. Mission could have been better. And, uh, yeah, that's all I really got to say about it. And the gun looks cool, so, yeah. That's, uh, all I got to say.